Hello friends, welcome to this practical course on StatPro software. In this lecture, we will add the live loads onto a structure. Let's first see the live loads recommended by IS875 part 2. First of all, the live load on the typical slab that is 2 km per meter square. If the terrace is accessible, then we will assume a live load value of 1.5 km per meter square. In case the terrace is inaccessible, then we will assume a reduced value of live load which is equal to 0.75 km per meter square. So since in our case the terrace is accessible, so we will consider live load on a terrace slab as 1.5. Now coming to the live load on the staircase, since we will climb up the staircase, so our load will act in the form of live load on the staircase. So assuming a live load value of 3 km per meter square on the staircase. So we will calculate the UDL and we will apply it in the form of UDL on the mid landing beams. So the process is similar to what we have calculated the dead load of the staircase. So the live load on the mid landing beams is W into L by 2 where L is the length of each flight. So length of each flight we have already calculated that is 5.64 meters. So the live load on mid landing beams comes out to be 8.46 km per meter. So let's add all these live loads in STAT Pro. First of all we need to create the live load case. So click on reference load definitions and click on add. Select the loading type as live and give the title as live load. Again add one more live load case that is live load on roof. We will add the live load on the typical slab and live load, live load on the roof in a separate load case. I will explain you why we have done like this but as of now remember that we will add live load on a typical slab and live load on the roof in a separate load case. So click on add and click on close. Now click on the live load case and click on add. First of all let's add the live load on the staircase. So click on the member load and click on the uniform force option. So the UDL on the staircase is 8.46. So add the value as minus 8.46 and click on add and click on close. Now select the value of minus 8.46 activate the top view now select the area where we have staircase click on selected objects view now click on the top view and select the mid landing beams like this deselect this beam and deselect this beam so now all the mid landing beams have been selected now click on assign to selected beams option, click on assign and click on yes. Now click on the display whole structure view option. Now let's add the live load on the typical slab. Now again click on the live load case and click on add. Now this time click on the floor load option. So we will enter a value of minus 2 kilometer per meter square and click on groups option. So first we will add the live load on for the one way slab. So select the ground floor slab one way, click on the one way distribution option and click on add. Similarly first floor one way, click on add. Similarly second floor one way slab, click on add. Similarly we have third floor one way slab, click on add, fourth floor, add, fifth floor, sixth floor one way and for the terrace we will add in the separate load case. So let's now add the live load for the two way slabs. So now select ground floor two way slab, deselect this one way distribution and click on add. Select the first floor two way 
and click on add similarly select second floor 2a click on add third floor 2a add fourth floor 2a add fifth and sixth floor 2a and click on add now let's add the live load on the roof so click on add now select floor load for roof we have a 1.5 kilonewton per meter square so enter the value as minus 1.5 click on groups option first of all we'll add the one way distribution so select terrace one way option and click on add now select terrace two way option deselect one way distribution option and click on add and click on close so now we have added the live load for the typical slab as well as live load for the terrace slab so guys that's all for this video you can like share and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future update See you in the next video.